We are learning new information about a deadly accident that claimed the life of a three-year-old boy. Family members say the child was outside of the car at the exact moment it was hit from behind. The crash happened yesterday evening on I-275 near Wilder. Nine on your side's Tom McKee is live right now with what led up to this tragedy. Tom? Well, Craig, I can tell you I just got off the phone with family members of Dawson Elder, that young three-year-old boy who lost his life, and they tell me a tale that any parent could relate to. He was in a car. He was riding in a car up there on the I-275 bridge over the Licking River when it blew a tire last night during rush hour. His mother, Reagan Ritter, took the boy out of his car seat so he could go to the bathroom. The car was six inches from the bridge wall. He was standing on the concrete, urinating outside when that vehicle was hit from behind. The impact of the crash killed three-year-old Dawson Elder, here with his mother, Megan Ritter, on his third birthday. Investigators were on the scene well into the evening, trying to piece together exactly what happened. Taylor Mill Fire Chief John Steger couldn't believe the devastation he saw at the scene. I've been involved in public safety since 1994. I've been in the uh, military, and this is probably one of the worst events that I've ever witnessed. One image Chief Steger says he'll never forget is seeing Dawson's shoes on the pavement well after the crash. Well, I don't know if he was had shoes on or wasn't wearing shoes, but it just there were just little kids' shoes laying on the roadway. So. And when you walk up on something like that and you know it involves a kid, your stomach kind of sinks when you have children. Police say the car that hit the Ritter vehicle was in the far right lane and veered further to the right due to stop traffic. Campbell County Commonwealth Attorney Michelle Snodgrass will have to determine if charges are warranted. Sometimes accidents happen. Sometimes people lose their lives and nobody did anything criminally wrong. We need to find out in this case if that's the scenario or if somebody's responsible. First responders on the scene were offered peer support Thursday afternoon to talk over what they'd seen. Sometimes it's a round robin sort of thing. You go around and it's, it's best that sometimes that people hear that other people are thinking the same thing. Uh, or sometimes they just feel better talking one on one. I-275 is extremely busy every day through Wilder with traffic moving at 65 miles an hour or even higher. The Ritter vehicle was in the narrow emergency lane with not much room for safety. I don't normally talk about these kinds of cases this early in it, but it's important for everyone to realize how difficult it is driving that stretch of roadway. Now, Michelle Snodgrass says that because she drives the same stretch up there on that bridge every single day as well. And she has advice echoed by police. Slow down, pay attention to what you're doing because it's a very busy stretch of road, can be very dangerous at times.